Hello everyone, my name's Brian, and life is strange, isn't it? Recently, I've been playing a lot more Legacy than Modern. It's just something I've been enjoying doing more. And even more recently, for a brief and shining moment, Legacy was complete on Magic the Gathering Online. It has since changed. It is no longer complete on Legacy because as quick as Warhammer 40,000 has been published to Magic the Gathering Online, Fallout came out with several key cards now missing in the Legacy format. What's a guy to do? Well, personally, I haven't been keeping up with Modern, but this deck here is my Ragavan Burn deck, as I call it, and it is the deck I've had the most success with in Modern. Admittingly, this was years ago. This is a deck that is long past its prime, but Burn's interesting in that it always kind of hangs around the meta. It generally is never a number one deck. There's a lot of variance involved in the stock Burn lists, and even on top of that, I have a theory that Burn has a lot of success because a lot of people play it. It's generally a tried and true way to get into modern and win some games. So once you know how the stock deck works, people do tend to modify it, if nothing more than for interest. Because let's be honest here, folks. Most of us aren't here to become pros. Most of us are playing Magic the Gathering because it's our hobby. It's fun. So how did I make my burn deck a little more fun and work a little bit better in my local meta two years ago? Well, as you can see here, this has a lot of staples of burn decks. Goblin Guides, Lava Spikes, Lightning Bolts, Monastery Swift Spears, Lightning Helixes, Boros Charms, Searing Blazes, Eidolons, and Rift Bolts. But then things get a little weird. I have some Ragavans in here. Two, not four, they are legendary. I have some... Dragon Rage Channelers in here, which help me smooth the top of my deck and get rid of lands I don't want. I also have some Mishra's Bobbles to make the Dragon Rage Channelers better, and also to make the deck four cards lower. I also have one less land than most people play, because I am playing some Bobbles, and on top of that, I have Ragavan that can also be a land source. In the sideboard, this does look a little bit more stock, at least to the era in which the deck was made. We have Path to Exile to get rid of things that can't be bolted, or Firewalkers for mirrors and for just other red decks, Sanctifiers for graveyards, Roiling Vortexes for opponents that do free things or are trying to gain a life, Smash the Smithereens mostly for chalices, and Deflecting Palms because Uno reverse cards are funny. And that's it. That's the deck. I haven't played Modern in quite a while, and let's find out together if this deck is even still viable in Modern. And on that note, we are going to play one-on-one -on -one matches, not a league. I'm being very upfront about that because I could get my butt kicked several times over and we might want to modify the deck. But let's go ahead and hop in the one-on-one -on -one queue and see how we do. Join me, won't you? All right. Uh, we probably lost the die roll. Yeah, that seems to be how these things go. We have three Eidolons, a Searing Blaze, and a Lightning Helix, which is probably enough if we're being honest in the grand scheme of things. Uh, let's see. Oh, or is this a mirror? Oh, okay. Um, not sure what my opponent's up to. I sincerely doubt we're playing, like, the... Uh, Ragavan Burn Mirror versus Ragavan Burn Mirror. <laughs> Although they did drop a Sacred Fangry and a Dragon Rage Channeler. I don't know a ton of the modern meta anymore. So let's just drop the Goblin Guide that we top decked, which is awesome for us, and come in swinging. All right. Uh, well, no, they did reveal a Lightning Bolt. Wait, 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 wait. Did I not play modern for like two years only for the first thing to happen? is to go up against the world's least likely mirror match. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, there, there's their searing blaze. Um, they must know I have one, too. So we're going to lose three and our goblin guide. That's what's going to happen to them next turn as well. And then after that, I guess we use the lightning helix to kind of break symmetry here. They kept whatever they wanted on top, which means they only have one of the bins. So Dragon Rage Channeler only does one. Generally, unless like you're landlocked or something, you really do just want to uh, go for pitching things in the bin to make your Dragon Rage Channeler bigger. Actually, no, let's let's Searing Blaze. We put a land into play. Let's go ahead and just pick our opponent a little bit. It's 13 to 12. We have a Lightning Helix to break the symmetry. We just have to kind of hope that that continues. All right, what's our opponent up to now? Another Dragon Rage Channeler, sure. They just have a bolt for me. Okay, so yeah, they're just going to bolt me. That does put them to three types in the bin. But again, we're just going to Lightning Helix their creature. In these, in these matches, you really just do want to get rid of their creatures because that's how people are going to win games. Ooh, and we found a Lightning Bolt. So we get to keep the Lightning Bolt up. 
And in the meantime, we get to gain some life back and get rid of their creature. And we have a, just a handful of creatures. Oh, and I'm thinking a little about that one. Um, interesting that we went up against a burn deck with Dragon Rage Channelers. I didn't think burn was playing Dragon Rage Channelers. I always thought that was like a weird thing that I did. Go ahead and attack. What else you got? Want to pump that at all? Okay. Well, luckily for us, we still have a mountain in the, in the deck. And then we just get rid of their thing. We take three. They lose their creature. And we just start Eidoloning out. We're to nine. They're to ten. So that one attack that they have is putting them kind of in the lead a little bit. But they do have a pain land. All right. So first things first, Lava Spike our opponent. And then we just have a hand of Eidolons that we just try and win the game with. And then pretty much it just becomes who finds their sideboard cards first in game two and three. Because the path to exiles are very important, as are obviously the pro-red creatures. And we do have four pro-red creatures because we have the Sanctifiers and the four Firewalkers. Do they not have a play? Well, we're going to attack, put them to five. And at this point, like, they can even kill the Eidolon, but the Eidolon will kill them. Because they can bolt the Eidolon. Yep, okay. So that's game one. Uh, Sanctifiers and pretty much just all the white cards. All the white cards are good. Rift Bolts are kind of slow. Um, what else? We can get rid of one Bobble. We can get rid of, what else? Two Boros Charms are kind of slow. We want the Lightning Helixes to gain life. We want one Lava Spike and one Searing Blaze because I guess we have removal. It's kind of a mix of everything and throw these guys in and just try and find our white cards first. All right, let's go. All right, game two. Uh, we have a white card. We have some creatures. We don't have any removal. Uh, and they do get to go first. Really, we're going to get the most punished if they go Goblin Guide, Goblin Guide. Because turn one, we're going to go Inspiring Vantage, probably Swifty. And then turn two, we're just going to drop Core Firewalker and hope that's enough. Oh, okay, they even dropped a Dragon Rage Channeler. So we're actually kind of fine in the grand scheme of things. Lightning Helix. Well, that's later. Uh, I mean, we are burn. <laughs> like, we're not, we're not here to block. <laughs> So there's my swing. The next turn, we just drop core Firewalker, which unless they brought in their paths is just unremovable. They should have brought in their paths because they should know what they're up against. Another Dragon Rage Channeler. Well, if they get Delirium now, things get a little dicey, but I think we have a little bit of time. Are they just going to bolt my guy? Yeah, okay. So the double surveil is scary. Double surveil is not what you want to see because if they get um delirium up now that's really bad so our guy's gone they have three card types okay so they didn't get delirium so it's not that scary we go to 19 they're at 15 though we draw a sacred foundry well we can even save ourselves a life and please don't have path to exile so this is good because it turns all of their three damage spells into two damage spells and also all of our spells gain us life so at this point we're just trying to actively control life on the board here. I have heard this style of deck, which was originally made by Aspiring Spike and then modified by me, is life control. Okay, well, Goblin Guide isn't going anywhere because uh, we get to have a core Firewalker, big old, big old blocker. Let's see, so they get another mountain. They still only have three card types, but they do probably have an instant or something. Like if they have a sorcery, then they just get to have Delirium. They deal a six, which is not a small amount. Okay, Monastery Swift Spear. Good to know. Um, Go to blocks. I feel as though they have an instant that they're going to try and use to give their guys Delirium. So I think we'll just block the Goblin Guide, though. We'll take six. We have a Lightning Helix to gain some life back. If they do, what do they got here? Skull Crack. Oh, OK. Well, that's unfortunate. So now Core Firewalker loses its protection and we trade. That's not good at all. So the way protection works is it prevents damage thanks to Core Firewalker not um, having protection. The Skull Crack stops it and it trades. OK. So we take a little bit, but we're going to start picking off creatures. So we have a Monastery Swift Spear that they know about. Let's go get just a mountain. Let's get rid of one of these. And again, it's a Lightning Helix, so it's the best possible spell to do this with because it gains his life. And then here comes Monastery Swift Spear to poke him again. Next turn, we have the Dragon Rage Channeler, the Eidolon. And if we even draw a one drop, we get to do all three. Pretty much, we just don't want to draw a land next turn. But we're playing less lands than most. Is that a lightning helix? That would be awful. Oh, it's a Boros Charm. Okay, that's not the worst. I mean, I feel like this guy's going to deal me a lot of damage. Rift Bolt. Okay, so yeah. We're going to go to nine, and then we have to try and do something about this Dragon Rage Channeler, because we are kind of staring down the wrong side of this barrel right now. So we need we need something good. Another Eidolon. Not exactly what I'm looking for. So play this. Crack that. Get a Mountain. for damn us. Go to Attack. Now, if we just play Eidolons, like, we're just going to take a million damage in the near future. So let's just play one Dragon Rage Channeler, one Eidolon, because we don't want to get locked under our own Eidolons. This way, our opponent can deal all the way up to six damage 
and we're still kind of alive. That's not good. That's another draw. I kind of need them to draw dead right now. Or we need to find more lightning helixes, which we do have three more in the deck. It's got to attack, buddy. There we go. So we go down to five. That's all they got. I think they might be trying to hold up an instant. Lava spike. So that's three, five, eight, ten. And then they're locked under it. Well, it's not a coward's game. If they have a bolt, they have a bolt. But if they don't have a bolt, then, uh, yeah. Actually, this just kills us with Dragon Rage Channeler, doesn't it? That's unfortunate. Yeah, Boros Charm. All right. So they had it anyway. Okay, so they had the way to get rid of the guy. Um, I think I still like the deck. I think we'll just try this again. So anybody want to tell me how long my camera's been frozen? So my camera's frozen, so this looks very silly, but uh, match has started. I don't know how long that's been frozen. I'd like to remind you, we are only professionals here at the Dorkator YouTube channel. Um, yeah, looks like we're gonna have to, uh, <laughs> gonna have to just hope I can fix that between rounds. You can tell this is a hobby of mine. I hope everything else in the video is working fine and my silly frozen face does not take away from the video too much. Our opponent's having a good time too. Uh, you can kind of see by my head, uh, Rift Bolt, sure. Uh, he's, he's kind of commenting on the game. Fiery Islet. That's, that's actually the land I ended up cutting. I know everybody likes to play the four Sunbay Canyons and the one Fiery Islet, but the land got cut because of Raggy Van. Oh, just Lightning Bolt, really. Okay. Hopefully we draw another threat. Ragavan. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hold on. I need to tell my opponent this. We take a damage and we dash in Ragavan from the top rope. Let's see. What did, what did, what did Ragavan steal? Sacred Foundry. Well, that's a thing. We'll, we'll just hold up Path to Exile. Ragavan will come back to hand. I hope he needed that land. I really hope we didn't just uh, take the land off the top for him. You know, he wanted that land. Hooray. Uh, that means we're not gonna... And he's leaving up a blocker. This is great. Oh, uh, this is everything I want. All right. So we'll draw another Monastery Swift Spear. We'll play a Monastery Swift Spear. We'll Lightning Helix this thing out the way, and we'll just come in and crack for two. All right, so our opponent missed a land drop because Ragavan yoinked their land, which for what it's worth, I think is great. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's wonderful. Oh, and he scoops the match. All right, let's fix this camera. All right, so here we are on game two. I'm actually gonna get the chat out of the way. I, I've forgotten how this works. We've lost the die roll after having a die roll off. Our opponent um, was on a weird mirror match uh, in game one, and we managed to, to win. I, I don't know how that worked. All right, this has no creatures, but it has lands and stuff. So we'll pitch the Sunbay Canyon. The Bobble will let us try and dig for a threat. And we, we have plenty, we have nine damage right now. So hopefully, oh, uh, is it turn one Ragavan? Turn one Ragavan would not be good for us. I mean, it'd be awesome for them. Steam Vent. Okay, this does look like turn one Ragavan. Please be Dragon Race Channeler. <sighs> I hate it when I'm right. Okay, so look at all of this damage we have in our hand and none of it can affect Ragavan. So deck, you wanna, ooh, okay. <laughs> Works for me. Actually, oh no, counter spells are a thing now. So goodbye, Ragavan. All right. Here's a bobble to confuse you, opponent. Dragon Rage Channeler. Oh, I did ask for that. So we'll draw a card. Hopefully we draw our own threat. Drawing our own Ragavan would be great. And start pitching Rift Bolts into the void. A Wooded Foothill. Not what we want. Dragon Rage Channeler. Yeah, you got it. Opponent going off. Two Dragon Rage Channelers, eh? Ooh, but we have a Ragavan. So what do we do here? Let's play the Ragavan. Let's suspend a Rift Bolt. And let's just take, take our lump. Hopefully they can't get them to three threes immediately. And hopefully they kind of keep one on defense as well because we have a Ragavan in play. So we Rift Bolt one, we Lightning Helix the other. Our Ragavan gets removed immediately off the field. They get Delirium. Adobe wants to update. Cats and dogs living together. Uh, apparently, whatever's on top of their library, they want to keep it there, which you lose a lot of Dragon Rage Channeler value when you do that. They're just going to attack for two, and then the next turn, they're not going to have any Dragon Rage Channeler. So unless what they put on top was a Murktide, in which case you got us. But in the meantime, yeah, we cast a Rift Bolt. Apparently, you no longer have to cast Suspend Spells for some reason. I'm um, not sure why they decided that was a good idea, but it's apparently what happens now. Mountain, can I also kill your guy, or do you have a Spell Pierce? Please don't have a Spell Pierce as one of two cards. Okay, great. I mean, here's the thing. I'm Hellbent, so 
What are you drawing? <laughs> Curse of Iteration. Oh yeah, that's legal and modern, isn't it? So they get a draw two. I have an empty hand. I do get a, a bobble draw though. So hopefully I draw not a land. I would like any action at this point. Dragon Rage Channeler. Ooh, I get a three, three. So as long as they don't have a Merc Tide, if they spend their turn, um, Expressive Iterating, that's not the worst. Merc Tide, that's what we were kind of worried about. A 4-4 four, four Merc Tide, no less. We find, uh, okay, well, we're, I forgot about the Rift Bolt, not gonna lie, guys. Rift Bolt our opponent's face, because we can't guarantee to draw Bolt to get rid of the Merc Tide. We drew an Eidolon, so we're gonna play the Dragon Rage Channeler. We're gonna play the Eidolon. They're not gonna attack, because we have to attack with our Dragon Rage Channeler. And then hopefully we get to draw some sort of damage. If we draw any of our damage, it should be enough to take the Merc Tide down. Because if they if they did attack with the Merc Tide, we just take four, they take five. That's that's awful math. Looks like they're bolting the Eidolon, yeah. The Eidolon deals them two. Eidolon goes away. They probably just pass another Dragon Rage Channeler. That's not good. Merc Tide doesn't attack because it'd be silly too. Okay, so now we have to draw some sort of damage. Lightning Bolt, that works. So that attacks, they block, and we get to sculpt the top of our deck. Or thing, bobble into the bin. Thank you dragon rage channeler so we trade and now we're not drawing a bobble <laughs> uh obviously things like eidolon our own ragavan would be good blue red here's the expressive pitch the counter spell into the bin i guess because they just don't have lands to kind of do it i guess they want to find a land to exile mishra's bobble oh bobble's also a free spell so the dragon rage channeler is on now but we're at 20 and they're at nine so even if we just top deck three burn spells that's fine so burn spell deck or creature burn spell deck or creature would be great okay creature monastery swift spear doesn't do the most damage out of the gate but at least it attacks immediately obviously a dragon rage channeler or a ragavan would have been infinitely better but you know keeping the clock up's fine we have plenty of life so if they just keep hitting us with a dragon rage channeler and they don't find another merc tide that's actually preferable. The only thing that hurts real hard right now is land. They might have another counter spell in hand. That might've been another reason why they pitched it. Here comes another, oh, Ledger Shredder, okay. So we're not gonna trigger that. Inspiring Vantage, the one thing we didn't wanna see was land. <sighs> so we just have to pass. This is where we lose. Um, again, this can happen with burn. You just end up empty handed. I think we played this fine. Um, I'm sure if I misplayed, people will put it down in the comments, but oh good, we even lose our, even lose our Swifty. We're kind of slowly losing the gap where finding burn spells would help. I mean, we could still go Boros Charm, Boros Charm and win. Uh, I don't think that's what's going to happen here. This doesn't really have any draw twos. Um, we did get to sculpt a little bit with our Dragon Rage Channeler, but it didn't really get to survive very long. Even just pitching Bell Pierce. I hope I find a uh, Searing Blaze. That's actually the best card right now. Searing Blaze would be awesome. Helix would be awesome. Goblin Guide's awful. <laughs> Goblin Guide can't get by Leisure Shredder, um, so... I mean, then again, neither could Ragavan, neither could, uh, neither could anyone else. There's no reason to fake attack. They would just get to look at the top card of their deck and maybe get a land. Uh, Variance. Variance is part of Magic the Gathering. Keeping their guy on D, we drop to 8. This is a Merc Tide. This game's probably over. Come on, opponent. Put me out of my misery. Show me Merc Tide Regent. Yeah... Now that doesn't do it. That's a little too late. So that's game one. Eidolon, Eidolon, too late. Okay, so we definitely need the paths. Um, What else? What else? What else? Deflecting Palm, maybe. We'll see what we want to take out. And Sanctifier Envec, maybe. These are really good. Um, Rift Bolts are slow. Searing Blazes are good. Boros Charms might be too slow. Take a Bobble. Saw too many Bobbles last time. And like, this is even fine for that. And we just don't play Deflecting Palm. Because like, this this gets rid of all the red cards from their bin, which makes it harder for them to get Delirium. Uh, also, some blocky stuff. Don't know about that Sanctifier. I know I know the pa the paths are really good. Uh, let's try it. You know, worst thing that happens is I lose. I've already, I already won game one. All right, we get to go first because we lost. Uh, yeah, this has pretty much everything. As long as Darcy doesn't die immediately, we even get to use Dragon Rage Channeler's ability to kind of sculpt our hand with our one drops. So here comes Dragon Rage Channeler. Hopefully it doesn't just get bolted off the field. If it gets bolted off the field, then this was an awful keep. But if it, if it lives, then we kind of get to control the board a bit. Breeding Pool, tapped, great. You'll love to see it. 
You can bobble all you want, big guy. You can bobble if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. All right, so now we want to land really bad. But other than that, you know, we can kind of get around with other stuff too. When it draws a card, good for you. Lightning Helix. Well, we didn't draw the land, but we do have the ability to do draw one next turn. Ragavan, no, you go to the bin. You're not a land. So lands might be a problem. Luckily, we still have multiple things to do here. Opponent's at 16, and they're going slow, which is nice. Plus, whenever we do draw land, we also have um, Searing Blaze to stop them. They didn't keep any red sources. Leisure Shredder. Okay, well, that can at least get removed from the field via a Lightning Bolt. Hopefully, it gets removed via Searing Blaze. Please be a land deck. Please be a land. Hey, we got there. So we, we missed one land drop, but now we get to kind of go through with the other one. Lightning Bolt, we can keep that on top. That's damage. If it was a land, we'd bin it to get more card types. Can't believe they kept a hand with no red. And now, like, we're just kind of set up because we have so much damage in hand, plus a way to get rid of a Merc Tide. An island. Did they, did they side out of red? Does Can this deck do that? All right. I, I can taste a subtlety, so we're just going to attack. Okay. Well, we'll just chill. We have plenty of damage we can play at instant speed. Okay, there's a red source. It's tapped, however. So I'm going to... what? I guess I'm going to Bolt Bolt, so I get two bites at the apple as far as Dragon Rage Channeler goes. Okay, I'm happy I bolted now, because this is going to get countered. Bell Pierce, sure thing, buddy. I still get my Dragon Rage Channeler peak. Inspiring Vantage to the bin! I got four card types, and now I have one more Bolt. Do you have another counter spell? Okay, so they're playing just Counterspell, it looks like. They're tapped out, though. A bobble. No, we don't want a bobble. Bobble to the bin. We draw an Arid Mesa. So just play Arid Mesa. Uh, I'm just going to deal the most damage. Boros Charm, your face. Lightning Bolt can stay on top. We can shuffle it away if suddenly it's not a good card. It seems pretty fine to me. You know, I did that thing everyone does where they automatically slam the Dragon Rage Channeler attacking. However, they help you in mid-go, and they... Make it so it has to attack right out of the gate. So opponent's at four, and we have six damage in hand. They could have a lot of counter spells. They could have a way to kill Dragon Rage Channeler. They could have a lot of things, if we're being honest. Pick your poison. Sure. They got rid of my flying guy. It's funny how they needed to bring in Pick Your Poison. I have four creatures that fly. They got their own Dragon Rage Channeler. That's good for you. All right, so they need to have two counter spells to stay alive here. The first one, Lightning Bolt. And then, do you have another counter opponent? I feel like you do. Yeah, counterspell. Oh, mismatching counterspells for the extra value. All right, so we just need to deal them one damage. Their Misty no longer does anything. We also have a path to exile, so we get to slow them down a little bit as well. Expressive iteration, sure thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is also when I proceed to draw, like, my own Darcy's and stuff, and we just lose, but, <laughs> you know, a guy can hope. What did he put into exile? Preordain. Okay. Put a Ragavan in their bin. I guess because they don't have any red mana. We get cracked for three. We really gotta hope we draw something that deals damage right now. Eidolon. Well, first things first. Do you have something to counter that? You can go get a land. I just don't want you to have a creature. That's fine. There's no way you have a mountain. Thought so. All right. Well, you can play Murktide Regent and nothing else. So if they find Murktide Regent, that's a problem. If they don't find Murktide Regent, I feel like we have this on lockdown. They have Murktide Regent. The one card. The one card. Yep, oh, there's Merc. Big old Merc, too. 8-8. Eight, eight. Come on, any spell. Ugh. Blood Stained Mire. I'm just going to play this out. I just need to thin the deck. They really can't attack. They can't really do much. They need to find a second Merc Tide for this to work. Because if they attack, they just die on the crack back. All right, so we just stare at each other for a little bit. All right, let's go get the land out of our deck. No more lands, deck. No more lands! What did I just say? You're not paying attention, Dick. Why must you fail me? Why must I cut lands and lose anyway? Oh my, we have him on the ropes. He has to find another Murktide region to be anywhere near winning this game. What did he find? I don't even know what our opponents... Engineered explosives for three, and then they die. So they needed... They needed to play that on four, I think. Okay, so that worked. Um, I think that's fine. I think we just run it back. I mean, I already won round one, so you guys got past the five minute mark anyway, which is all you look for when you make these videos. Uh, so yeah, let's run it back. Okay, two lands and a bunch of stuff. This hand's great. The so turn one, Swifty, turn two, Eidolon. Dragon Rage Channeler back, but when they start killing my things. If we do find a Lightning Bolt, I am going to kill that. 
because I don't want them sculpting their deck this much, but get rid of a lightning bolt. Maybe they're just really good at the game and they know they need to fill up that bin as quickly as possible. What do we draw? A Sunbaked Canyon, which means this can go get just a mount. No more lands deck, no more. Swifty, roughly off her Eras tour as of late, and comes screaming in for one. Game is 1-1. One, one. Opponent found a second land, which is not what we like to see. They're just attacking for one, that's not the worst. So opponent has a counter spell which they're holding up. Um, how do we best punish this? I think we lava spike our opponent, then crack him with the Swifty, then try and play Darcy. Unholy heat. Okay, okay, okay. Do they have the counter spell? They do have the counter spell, that's great. Well, at least Darcy gets to come out and said no. Okay, cool. And I have a Dragon Rage Chandler. The next turn, see what we want to do. When it's at four cards, they also have the ability to draw two though. It's not as kind of open and shut as we'd like it to be. If our opponent attacks, we just take whatever. Taking one or three doesn't really matter. Ragavan, well, I'd like that to die. That attacks, um, but they can have, everything that they can have is kind of irrelevant, isn't it? Because like next turn, no, nah, we're gonna, we're just gonna take the damage. An Arid Mesa. So if they have a counter spell, they have a counter spell. But in the meantime, I would like to get rid of Ragavan. Now you should really wait for my Dragon Rage Channeler to resolve. You know what? That's gonna stay on top of the deck. <laughs> That's a really good card. Please counter my Lightning Helix so my other card can come down. Yes. All right, so what's gonna happen now? Oh, but their Ragavan gets to steal. So we're gonna shuffle that away actually. Cause them having a Sanctifier is awful, but they wouldn't be able to cast it. So actually we know it's a blank because they're not gonna have two white mana. They're only gonna have one white mana. So that's fine by me. And then next turn we get to go Eidolon Eidolon and at least one Eidolon sticks. And then in the meantime, like Dragon Rage Chandler is just going to keep cracking them unless they remove. I mean, they could also play a Murktide Regent, which would be really bad right now. Okay. So they're stolen cards of blank because we don't want them to find Lightning Helix. Find, let them finding Lightning Helix would be the worst. They can have the Sanctifier because they can't cast it. Red. Okay, so here's Expressive. That's kind of the card you don't want them to see. Because now they get to really, really get to come back. Misty, sure. You can deal yourself as much damage as you want, opponent. We're just going to crack this while we have a moment here. Even if we find um, Searing Blaze, we have a land in hand. Now, if after all this, they play a Merc Tide, that's really bad. And after all this, they play a Merc Tide. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, so they have a Merc Tide now. Big one, too. Uh, if we had the Sanctifier, that wouldn't have happened, but... Oh, good, we found a land. What I want to see. So, Dragon Rage Channeler gets to die, unfortunately. Well, let's play Eidolon. Play Eidolon. We, we kind of need to find... A path. Now we do have a good number of them in the deck, but we do need to actually find them. Oh no, we just we just died due to Murktide. Oh well, I didn't do math right. Um, maybe our opponent kills themselves. Maybe they maybe they miss the attack button. That, that's what I, that's what I'm playing on here. Maybe they miss the attack button, or maybe I'm I'm hilariously rusty when it comes to modern. All right, all right, all right. The old one two. Uh, what do we draw? Path. Ugh. Hey, we want a die roll. Hey, our hand's awesome. Uh, inspiring Vantage into Dragon Rage Channeler, into a Bobble. Now, I know I had the Ragavan, but this seems better because we get to Sculpt now. Searing Blaze, completely unplayable, into the bin you go. See? That's better than playing Ragavan. What's on top of your deck, opponent? Ace of the Shattered Skeleton. Oh, it's a Demonic Tutor. Okay. We get to draw a card. Hopefully we find a land to dash a van. Found a Boros Charm, so this half of our hand we can't play. This half of our hand we can play. Uh, okay. Opponent did nothing, which is great. Mountain, hey, ho, we got there. So red, red, dash a van, and we swing. What's on top of your deck, opponent? I want to play your deck. Looks like they're going to kill Ragavan with a fatal push. Or a dismember. Yeah, no, they... They decided to take four instead of two, put themselves to 16. We have three types in the bin now, though. Unfortunately, we need to find a fetch or a sorcery to turn on Darcy. Nurturing Peatland, do yourself more damage, opponent. I appreciate it. Here comes the curse. Did that skeleton block? They're, they're thinking better of it. Mind wrench. Um, a helix. Wait, oh no, that needs to go off. I'm not trying to play it. Boros Charm and a Helix. Interesting. I mean, we didn't have anything to turn on the Dragon Rage Channeler, but it would have been really cool if we did. All right, so Bolt, please find something to put in the bin. Hearing Blaze can definitely go in the bin, but I would like a Sorcery, an Artifact, an Eidolon, a Creature, you know. Land, land Sorcery, and Eidolon are the three we're looking for. Instant. Another instant to the bin. Okay, so now that we've taken all of our action and put it into our bin in an attempt to deal our opponent two more damage, we have a, a play for next turn. If they rip our hand apart, though, that's kind of awkward. If they have, like, another Mind Wrench, or even just Ox, Fatal Push. All right, well, that's unfortunate. 
What's your plan now? Oh, you don't have one. Okay. Lava Spike. Lava Spike later. Boros Charm now. Goes to three. Next turn, we just get to kill him with Lava Spike because there's no world where our opponent in their black your discard deck has uh, has life gain or a counter spell. This is probably... Oh, a Blood Ghast. Huh. I mean, I like Blood Ghast. I do, I do like me some Blood Ghast. Those of you who saw last video saw how I played uh, Not Dredge Dredge. Well, okay, we'll just make this quick. Kapowie. All right. Um, Sanctifier, you are required. I think it's really only Sanctifier. Like, I don't know what they're doing, but I think it's just Sanctifier. And I think we just take out, what? One Searing Blaze, one Rift Bolt, put in Sanctifiers. All at a deck. All right, and we even have the Sanctifier in our hand. We will keep. Our opponent gets to go first. I mean, if they, like, thought sees us, we're kind of uh, in a real bad spot. Oh, okay, they don't. Anything turn. Inspiring Vantage into Taylor Swift Spear into an Eye Poke. Kapoke. Castle Lockthwain. Okay, what are you doing? What you doing, opponent? Is it Bloodcast? Shieldred's Edict. Okay. It, it's like they're trying to play Legacy in Modern. I like it. Also, you're going to feel a little silly if you don't have another Sacrifice effect when I play a Sanctifier. <laughs> little silly. You're, you're going to feel a little, little silly opponent. All right. How many Shieldred Edicts do you have? You have several? Because if you don't, I feel like the Sanctifier is really doing work here. Now, you'll notice um, the Sanctifier does turn off my Darcy, and I know it does that. Although, it is technically possible if I put the uh, Paths to still get Delirium. I did not put the Paths in the deck. So we can get we can get Land Artifact. <laughs> land Artifact. Actually, if the other Sanctifier... We can get three out of four if the other Sanctifier ends up in the bin somehow. What do you got? Liliana of the Veil. That will kill a Sanctifier. Bonin is, uh, is cooking. I mean, we're absolutely going to kill Lily. Tap. Ooh, a Bobble. I mean, while that's slightly tempting, that's not quite what's going to happen here. We're going to get a Mountain. We're going to Bolt Lily. Then we're going to play... Eidolon. Now, we didn't play the Bobble because we want to play it with the Channeler. It is going to deal us some damage, but I don't feel like our opponent's actually dealing us any real damage. Are they just fatal pushing the Eidolon? Is Eidolon just a two mana shock? Yep, Eidolon is just a two mana shock. Okay. If they mind wrench us, we even still have the Bobble in hand. Bloodgast. Well, that can come back now, which is not our favorite. Another Boros charm. Well, Dragon Rage Channeler. Mishra's Bobble. What do you got in the deck? Bloodstained Mire. That's not what we want. Don't want Lance. We want action at this point. Lights, camera action, you might say. Urborg. So all of our stuff's going to make black soon. Nito Burrito. Head and just arm our opponent. Searing Blaze. Also not what we want when we have no hands in hand. So the Blood Ghast actually also gets blocked unless they happen to have removal. I mean, we have seven just direct damage in hand. So they play the Urborg, which we know about. What else you got, opponent? I feel like you got something. Because your deck is just removal.deck, so... Although, if you're if you, if I'm making you do removal.deck and you're planning on killing me with a blood ghast, I feel like I have time. NG for one, really? That's how much you hate Dragon Rage Channeler. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, they three mana destroyed target Dragon Rage Channeler. All right. I mean, they came prepared for the Sanctifier. I'll give them that. All right, what do we draw? Bloodstained Mire. Well, just play that out. And um, we have plenty of life at the moment, so just that and that that there we'll keep the lightning helix up in case anything weird happens but we can always just play it on their end step two and put them to five come swinging in you can hit me with blood gas a whole bunch of times in fact six more times after this opponent what's your actual play for the turn though another lily looks like another lily thinking better about the other lily gris do i care about gris at all i mean it's gonna make creatures it's gonna kill my creatures but i don't think that actually matters a ton all right i'm just gonna Crack you with a lightning helix here. Bobble! This is when you don't want to see Bobble. Because we need to find two more direct damage spells here. So what are you going to do next? Mistress Factory. Sure. All right. Please draw something of note deck. Eidolon! Well, they can kill that without um, doing much. But at least it slows them down a bit, I guess. A Braids! Wow. Opponent's going deep and their deck's starting to get some momentum here. All right. Attacks for three. All right. Find something good, deck. Find something good. If this is Lily now, that's bad. Oh, it's just another... Okay. Come on, deck. Deck, why do you fail me so? Why Why do you fail me and hate fun? Um, we even play it. I guess we do. Play it out. This way they have to tick down Gris, and it slows their clock down a little bit, but this deck just might be petering out now. Hey, Brian, remember when you took out um, Rift Bolt? That was a real smart move, wasn't it? Aren't you the, the smart cookie? Mm-hmm. They get rid of something. They sacrifice. Just a, just a guy. Well, they didn't sacrifice the blood gas, which is a good sign. <laughs> just attack with everything. Mistress Factory, sure thing. So, clock's fast. Clock is fast. I think we're actually dead. I don't, I don't think there's a way we get out of this. 
Unless we like Ragavan into something. Like Ragavan's kind of our, oh, or actually Lightning Helix would work too. Lava Spike and we die. All right, let's go to game three. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything we actually want to change here. Like maybe we can take a Bobble out, that back in, try that. All right, we get to go first. Hopefully we get a hand full of things. Uh, that counts. Keep. This is where we make the mistake and we turn one Ragavan and hope they don't have Fatal Push because we're hoping to really snowball with this. Otherwise, we'll just cast um, Eidolon next turn and hope that it deals some decent damage. So either they Fatal Push the Ragavan or the Eidolon probably gets to survive a little bit longer. Fatal Push? Yep, Fatal Push. You know, these things, they happen. You, you can just know what's in your opponent's hand by thinking out loud, like, what would be the worst thing my opponent could have? And then suddenly it's what's in their deck. So now don't have more creature removal on it. Expend a turn doing nothing in your deck that's mostly removal and inevitability. Children's Edict. Children's Edict. So this has gone exactly how they want it to go thus far. Ooh, another idol on them. All right, so do this. Hit that. One of these. Then even have a third idol. So hopefully now we've gotten stuff out fast enough so that they just can't remove the board super quick and we can start dealing some significant damage. We have more things in hand to get whatever they play out of the way. Even if they play a Lily, we should be able to kind of keep going here. Fisher's Factory. Well, that's a blocker. Another Fatal Push. Looks like they're debating what to do. <laughs> Thought Seize. Really? Really? I mean, sure. Take the Lightning Helix, I guess. You're giving Dragon Rage Channeler Delirium, though. And you're dealing yourself four doing so. I guess they suppose if, uh, you know, it, it helps them kind of stay alive because we just attack and I'll happily trade my Lightning Bolt for their for their land. One mana Stone Rain seems pretty good. Yeah, this kind of matchup. Looks like that's what they're going for here. Sunbake Cannon. We'll play that out. They know I have the bolt, but let's just go. Once they spin up the Mishra's Factory, we bolt it. I mean, I suppose they had to because I can't just sit there and take a million damage, but at the end of the night, that's what's happening. Um, Actually, we'll put that on top. That seems awesome. So we take two off our own Eidolon. We get rid of, we get to stone rain them and we get to deal them five and then we get to play Ragavan to draw a card. I'd like to cast Ragavan. And I think that wraps this up as like, Unless they're playing Bantu's Last Reckoning, they're not going to take out all three of our creatures. Man, I'm going to enjoy these last few uh, months of Modern before Modern Horizon 3 comes out and all of my decks are invalidated. <laughs> What's the worst thing they could do? Engineered Explosives for one is pretty bad. I mean, it does put them to six and we still have the Eidolon. And it took their whole turn. So, whoopsie. I overextended and they bit me. Sacred Fountain. Well, they don't got to know about that. Uh, yeah. You need to blow everything up. I'm forcing the issue here. Yep. But I put you to four is the thing. And now you get to play two spells. You can dismember it, but that puts you to two. Darcy. Well, that's after combat. When it goes to two, they can't cast any more spells. We have a Dragon Rage Channeler. We get dealt to by our own Eidolon. And we win the match. We're two and one. Let's go on to game four. Okay, match four. And we've won a die roll. Hooray. Ah, uh, this hand also looks amazing. We will keep... So I've done a lot of playing Ragavan on one and uh, regretting it because it dies immediately. But, you know, when it doesn't die, it's just such an awesome creature. <laughs> so Ragavan, do you want to uh, continue to teach me that I should play you on turn one and then just just really eat it when you get removed immediately? Hollowed Fountain tapped. Ooh, this looks great. Rift Bolt. All right. So attack with Ragavan. See what we steal. A Ley Lines Binding. Well, I'm happy you don't get to have that. Uh, let's go ahead and suspend a Rift Bolt and play a Dragon Rage Channeler and just kind of take it from there. So we're against Control and we currently have a decent kind of setup here. I'd like to Rift Bolt your face opponent. What do you have to say about that? Inspiring Vantage. Don't need that right. Man, Dragon Rage Channeler in this deck is just so good. Counterspell? Sure. Sorcery goes to the bin. We get another Dragon Rage Channeler. Um, what a bolt you. Surveil one. Instant. Instant. Searing Blazes don't really do anything. I guess we do want to bin this. Brack. Pay a life. Play another Dragon Rage Channeler. I suppose we should have waited to see what Ragavan finds. Flooded Strand. Not much. Okay. So we have three types in the bin and a pretty decent setup here. Like, best thing they can do is play Teferi Bounce Ragavan. Basic island cycle. Oh, it's not basic. It's just island cycling. So they're probably going to go get a breeding pool. Oh, just island. Okay. They have a Sharknado or something. Mountain. Play mountain. Draw a card. Drew a lightning bolt. We actually can bolt. Sun Big Canyon to the bin. Don't need any more lands. Searing Blaze to the bin. That either. Another counter spell. No more lies. Sure. We attack for four. Get another bite with Ragavan. Things are going to start not going our way, though. So hopefully we find something cool. Like if we find a Teferi, that'd be great. No more lies. All right. Well... 
Oh, well. Mmm, they put themselves to six. Probably for Wrath? Supreme Verdict. Seems correct. Now we need to find some damage. Swift Spear, all right. Um, do we Searing Blaze ourselves? I don't think so. Put you to five. If they play Big Fairy, then that's bad. But other than that, this seems like we're still in the running. Teferi Time Raveler. That's fine. What, are you gonna bounce the Monastery? Yeah, I would have bounced one of my treasures, if I'm being honest. Lightning Helix. Well, play Swifty. Uh, go attack our opponent. See what they do. Nothing. All right. Well, they must. Yeah, we're going to try something. Oh, I can't because Teferi. All right. Well, whoopsie. I'll put you to one, though, if I can. See if this works. They put themselves to three. Counterspell. All right. They're at three, though, so they're they're on a knife's edge. Come on. No, you should totally shock yourself. Go to one. Sure. We'll try it. Wrong three. Oh, they must be trying to find Force of Negation. Oh, no, we got them. All right. So Vortex. Good. Uh... Maybe even Smash. I don't know about Smash. Well, Rift Bolt's bad. Uh, Searing Blaze is not the best either. So what if we try this? All right. We have the Roiling Vortex, which is cool. We have a Goblin Guide, which is cool. We have all sorts of cool things. No turn one play, which isn't surprising. Plenty of bolts, though. Get a Sacred Foundry. Our life total doesn't. Goblin Guide. Here comes Gobbo. What do you get? No more lies. So they have a counter spell that we know. If they just hold up no more lies, we'll just go Bolt Bolt. Oh, one of the new tap lands. Yeah, they liked whatever they saw on top. Oh, well, they knew it was no more lies. Why would you play a Surveil Land if you knew it was on top of your deck? Unless, like, this has replaced the Triome. Core Firewalker, sure thing, boss. Well, the good news is you do get to gain a life. The bad news is, shouldn't gain any more after this. If they Teferi bounce the Vortex, that's kind of annoying. Oh, no, they're playing a Triome, so they're not going to do that. Leyline's binding the Vortex, though. These are things that can happen. <laughs> I won't lie, that's kind of funny. You get to gain a life, but I get to have a Vortex again. I'll keep my bolts for now. Hopefully I can Roiling Vortex and actually have them deal full damage. Sunbake Canyon lets me draw another card in the near future. So let's do Bloodstained Mire, fetch the final thing out of the deck, just pass. We can always play Lightning Bolts if we want to on their turn. If they go for the three mana to Fairy, we'll just go Thing Bolt Bolt. Another Surveil Land, like they kept it on top. They get pinged by the Roiling Vortex, which is kind of important. Waited till their end step to do something. Ley lines binding. Well, we can't gain life this turn. Don't know why they did that on their end step, as opposed to after it dealt me a damage. You know, we'll just kind of go for it now. Can't gain life. Darcy's interesting. Let's draw first. Bop. All right, well, now we want to play Darcy. You can gain a life opponent. Smash. Well, we definitely don't want that. That definitely goes to the bit. Are they just killing the Dragon Rage Chandler, like, immediately? Force of Negation the Bobble? Wow. That, uh, that's something you did not want to see. Well, no reason to attack this turn. You can deal them one damage, throw away a creature. No, don't do it yet. I mean, we're, we're hellbent, so they should really have this game in the bag. Solitude, that's not good. I'm amazed they're doing this all at sorcery speed. Because now they're tapped out. Dragon Rage Channeler. Um, no, we lost this game. So let's go to the next one. So let's take the smashes out. Those turned out to be wrong. Let's put the paths in and let's try that. Um, I mean, if they don't, Chalice us, this is good. I feel like the Ragavan hopefully should dig us out of this a little bit as well. If they have some sort of turn one removal, which I don't think they have, this is going to be very bad. But if this goes the way I think it goes, we can actually get to put a whole bunch of creatures down next turn and hopefully just aggro out. Please don't do anything. Oh, no, you have plays. I don't want you to have a play. Don't do it. Don't do it. March of Otherworldly Light. Oh, Prismatic Ending. OK, that's fine. Even got to find the other thing anyway. Never punished, ever punished. I was really hoping they didn't have an answer for Ragavan. That would have been very nice, but you do, in my opinion, you have to risk it. In my opinion, like, oh, I could have played Monastery of Spirit Dolph Damage turn two Dash of Van, but the idea that I wouldn't have to keep playing two for Ragavan was just such a high floor. Um, obviously, there's a ceiling too, because it can just get removed immediately. Oh, they're surveilling. You can surveil. Even a land this next turn is good. Pretty much there's no bad draws. Ooh, Solitude. Uh, what are you targeting? Oh, the Dragon Rage Channeler. Well, I have two of those. The Dragon Rage Channelers do scare these decks. Huh, 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 huh. Did I? I think I forgot to attack with Monastery Swift Spear because I'm so bad at magic. Wow. Um, for those of you still watching, sorry. <laughs> I, I am not a professional player. Ugh, they found the silly thing. That's not good. Monpath. Ragavan. Well... Well, that means three gets through 
and it's a creature type in our bin. Yeah. So right now I'm just trying to make the Dragon Rage Channelers fly. So they block Ragavan because obviously you block Ragavan. And now there's two types in the bin. Then if we can find something that makes my two Darcy's fly, I think we're in a good spot. Because I don't think they wrath when they have a Firewalker on board, especially when my guys aren't flying yet. Ugh, they get rid of that thing. That's not good. Another Swifty. I don't think that's where we're at right now. We're just going to go ahead and try and start stocking the bin. Now, if they have no more lies, that's bad. Let's try and do this. Sorcery. Nope, that's what we want. Bin. If they have no more lies, this is bad. But other than that, other than that, no more lies. <laughs> hey, Brian, do you want to keep saying the card that your opponent definitely has in their hand that you just refuse to play around? I think that'd be great. It really does feel like sometimes when you play magic that your opponent just gets to have everything and you get to have nothing. But like, variance is a thing. Another Boros charm. Well, I haven't learned anything, have you? Show me another no more lie. You know what? Show me show me even something different than no more lie. Show me a force of negation. Hard cast force of negation opponent. Sorcery. No, we can we can keep this way next turn we get to monastery and attack with two creatures. Come on. Oh! Oh! You don't say. I wonder how Dragon Rage Channeler dies. Leyline Binding. Well, they're down to one card, so I feel like we're not in the worst spot because next turn we do get to deal a decent bit of damage because Monastery Swift Spear into Lightning. Assuming we draw a land. We probably don't draw a land. Doesn't look like they drew anything. Oh, they're attacking with Core Firewalker. So that tells me they have land solitude. Oh, your land. Yep. Okay. So their final card is solitude. The one ring. Oh, good. I'm glad you have access to that. So we probably lose. Man, I forgot that was in modern. Lava spike. Well, we'll just set up. Yep, you get to gain a life. Good for you. You get to draw a thousand cards even better. Um, see, this is what I was talking a little bit about. Your deck just like kind of getting outpaced. Um, we are losing to new cards. Uh, Core Firewalker, obviously, you know, a staple, but the one ring, no more lies. These things that are like brand new to the format. They take a damage. I don't think they die to the one ring, especially when they're playing to fairies. Like, I don't think we're that lucky. So they get to draw. They have three cards. They Ancestral Recalled and Time Walked or a four colorless mana. Another pro red creature. Well, there goes my attack plan. Mishra's Bobble. Sure. I need to find my way out of this. Or I need to be given permission to scoop. What do you got? Lorian Revealed. Sure. Lightning Helix for two. Well, we won the first game. <laughs> And then they uh, were able to adjust and stomp us into the ground. So this, we're going to scoop soon because, you know, I have stuff to do today. And, <laughs> you know, they're not going to die to one ring triggers. Not when they have fairies. Man, they have six card. One ring is such a good card. What do you got, opponent? Can I can I leave? Am I done? Are we done here? Oh, they're just drawing three. So unfortunately, that means we have to stick around a little bit because they haven't found a way to stop the one ring from punching them yet. More lands. Hooray. So glad. Your turn, opponent. Not attacking into the pro-red creatures thing. game. I didn't play um, Lava Spike because I want them to feel like they can get lower. I want them to feel like I have nothing. Um, obviously, if they start looping the one ring, like it, that's just game. And they have 12 cards in hand, but I kind of need them to not feel like they need to loop the one ring. Although they totally could right now. They could totally play Teferi. Uh, yeah, they could still play Teferi and the one ring. Getting frisky with the Sanctifier. Let's go get a land of sorts tap more lands well now is when we do crack off um this put them to five there's no use attacking because they definitely have a solitude and we don't want to help them gain life yeah we knew about that gain to life nothing we could do about that if we had more damage we'd deal more damage force of negation rough all right we pass i mean this game's slowly getting away from us well not slowly it got away from us a while ago when he had all the early turn interaction Puts himself to four. Gonna put himself back up to seven. Oh, just the full swing. Okay. Must have a, a one ring loop to do that. If you one ring loops, I'm just gonna scoop. Show me three fairy. Oh, okay. Different one ring. Yeah, I think that counts. I think we're done here. All right, we won the die roll. We are currently two and two and fighting to go positive with a deck I used to be quite good with. Uh, not so much anymore as we're learning today. All right, keep and turn one Darcy. Poland mulligans to six cards. What else are you going to do? All right, they just mulligan to six, which is fine. Oop, no, we want red. Thank you. Here comes our Dragon Rage Channeler. Rawr. And we have two mana spells to come after it. Please do very little opponent. Please don't remove my Dragon Rage Channeler. Urborg. That's the guy I played against last time. 
All right, play another Dragon Rage Channeler and go get a mountain. They're pitching things into the bin here. Yep, sorcery is great to put in the bin. Find something else. Yeah, that'll work. Hey, look, I have two three threes. Here comes Darcy coming in hot. So now our opponent's already at 14 and we have six power on the board and a whole bunch of removal. So looking like this first game's pretty good. Cycle, generous ent. Oh, are we doing, um, are we doing a living end deck? Living end is actually kind of rough. Yeah, if they got a breeding pool. Yeah, this might be living end. Which you would think like this, this is getting recorded, you know, 14th of March and... You would think the bans literally just happened in Modern, where they got rid of Violent Outburst, but hey, it works for them. Rift Bolt. Well, let's just attack. See if we get them down to six. We do. And knock them even further. You know, let's wait till their turn so they can't force negation. Let's do that instead. Let's be good Magic the Gathering players who remember how the cards in the format work. And our opponent scoops. All right, so Sanctifier is not going to get much, but it's going to get the most we can hope for. And I do think this is a deck where we want Rolling Vortexes in. They got the Rift Bolts. They got the Searing Blazes, because all their stuff's going to be bigger than that. Uh, I guess we leave in a Rift Bolt. Put these in and cross our fingers. <sighs> okay, okay. Our opponent gets to go first, but we have things to do. Grief. Huh. Please take Ragavan and stop me from making a mistake. <laughs> please, please take Ragavan. Come on, like, do do me a favor. Do me a favor and stop me from making a mistake. Take Ragavan. Otherwise, I'm going to play it and it's going to die and I'm going to feel real silly. Hook Lightning Helix. Oh, man, now I got to make that mistake. Oh, man. Gee willikers. As much as we joke here, we're not doing <laughs> we're, we're a Dragon Rage channeling into a Mishra's Bobble. Ooh, Eidolon. That's two types. So now, Dragon Rage channeler is a 3-3. Three, three. And next turn we get to deal a whole bunch with Monastery Swift Spear Lava Spike. Because I, I pulled off the Tron where I have three cards in my graveyard, but four card types. Heal yourself too. Do it by accident. No, you're playing correctly. No. We get to draw a card. We draw a Lightning Helix, which could come into play later. Honestly, san finding Sanctifier would be the best to just get rid of the grief in their graveyard. A Surveil Land, that's a thing. Surveil Lands are a thing that I need to experiment with. I really, I honestly haven't, um, but they seem very good. They really do. Put a card on top of their library. Okay. Well, uh, I believe I speak for all of us when I say damage, 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 damage. Oh, we could have taken what he surveilled if we were smart. That's silly of me. Well, we might have lost the game because I forgot Ragavan could steal their top card. We don't want that. But I was I was playing Burn and I was seeing red and we're putting them to 10. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and, and play your Shardless Agent. Architect of Wills into the bin. Oh, because they could have they could have taken whatever anyway, because they had Architect of Wills to cycle. Do they not have a third land? They don't have a third land that can't cascade. Oof, that must not feel good. So what we can do, kind of have the best of all worlds here. I'm going to dash a van. This loses us in the grand scheme of things. Actually, no damage because the prowess is being taken up by Ragavan. We take their Misty Rainforest. Uh, actually, no, we'll do it on their turn, but we have we have a Lightning Helix to do stuff with. Ragavan comes back to our hand. Or cycling, I think. Yeah, more cycling. Waker of Waves. I mean, we could put them to one, and one is very close to zero, but it's not zero. If they fetch or something, yeah, of course it's living in. I mean, if they fetch, we can Lightning Helix them. They don't living in, they just lose. Well, they didn't have to fetch, which is unfortunate. Yep, put you to one, and then just kind of hope. Hope on hope on hope. Um, no, we can play that. So they rip Ragavan out of our hand. They go to one, we play the Vortex, and hopefully we can win the game with that. Yep. Oh, but they have Architect, so they just get to choose the top of our library. That's unfortunate. We do have a Wooded Foothills, but we're going to draw like a land or something now. What do we do now? Sanctifier and Vex showing up to work late, I see. So here comes Sanctifier. We get dealt two. At least this stops Architect. They can't cast any spells, though, but they do have quite a bit of damage. So 7, 10, they get to do 12 damage. But they can't actually attack with everything, can they? So really, you just attack with the whale, right? The whale and the grief, and that's all you attack with? Okay, so we actually get a little more time than we thought. We have to hopefully find a way out of this. Oh, okay. Well, you literally can't do anything, opponent, so taste it. All right, good game. We went 3 and 2. That's nice. Sweet. What was our next card? All right, cool. Let's go to the wrap-up. All right, three and two. Um, it did fine against decks that seem to be using like new stuff, like against the Murktide deck and against um, the control deck with the One Ring. Clearly, this has been outclassed. It doesn't have answers to stuff like that at the moment, which is unfortunate. But it did fine. In fact, I could probably show up to a 
Friday Night Magic with this and like do respectable, respect, respectable, respectable. English is hard, but yeah. Um, sorry, I don't make these videos as much as I used to anymore, guys, but I'm still around. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you have a list you want me to play, go ahead and email me at this side now. Hey, dummy, play this at gmail.com. That's hey, dummy, play this at gmail.com. I know somebody did just send me a different burn deck uh, recently, and I did see it. Um, unfortunately, I just didn't get around to playing that one yet. I swear I'll try and get through all of them at some point once my life gets a little bit more stable. But for now, I hope you guys enjoy what videos do kind of trickle out from time. Thank you guys very much, and I will see you later. Bye.